What is up subscribers? As you saw yesterday, uh, we went to the junkyard and then we came back. I was working on the S10 project. Uh, Mike and Clayton, they were cleaning up the engine over there, the 5.3 for the shit horse. Uh, so basically what I was doing was uh, figuring out the intercooler mounting. I had to trim a bunch of the frame horns away, which I'm gonna box back in. This is kind of more or less where the intercooler is gonna go. I can't really mount it. I don't really wanna mount it over the radiator area because, you know, I wanna put fans there and plus better for cooling, whatnot, to have the intercooler lower. Plus my plan is, uh, if you're familiar with the S10s, they have a spoiler on the bottom. So with that spoiler on the bottom, I can actually mount the intercooler low and then I'm gonna like, I'm gonna make a new spoiler, probably out of aluminum or metal, that's gonna be, it's gonna look basically like the original black plastic one, except where it has, where the intercooler is, it's gonna be open there, so that the intercooler will get air. I don't know if I'll put some screen in front of it for rocks and stuff or whatever, but that's kind of my plan. It doesn't really fit, like, I tried putting it kind of up here, I tried turning it so the outlets were up here, and no matter which way I do it, the intercooler piping and, the, and those bottom pieces are too big to fit behind the grill. So I mean, I'd have to cut up the radiator support and everything, which I don't want to do because I'm already gonna, I'm gonna put the radiator in, I'm waiting for it to come. I ordered an aluminum one. Uh, I'm gonna mount it in here more. Like from the factory, it kind of sits on the outside here. So I'm gonna cut a bit of this and get it to seat right inside here. It's kind of what we did on Mike's S15. We moved it in so that uh, it would give more clearance for the engine and plus with the turbo and everything. Plus I might move it over to the driver's side a tiny bit, you know, so maybe the turbo can actually get air from the outside. Now I'm just gonna figure out tabs to mount it and get it mounted. And then I'm gonna start on the intercooler piping, start figuring that out today, hopefully. And then uh, at some point I'll, I'll put the grill and the bumper on and you can kind of see what I'm going for or what it's going to look like. The truck has air ride and everything, but when it lays out, the spoiler does not touch the ground, so I want to make it so that it's the same. So that basically when it's laid out, the spoiler's close to the ground, but it's not touching the ground and nothing will catch it. And then it'll get maximum air into the intercooler, plus it'll still get maximum air into the radiator to uh, keep the engine cool. So let's get at it. <laughs> Okay, so now I've kind of run into another issue. Now I got the grill on and where it sits, the grill doesn't fit. And then if I move it down so the grill fits, then I think it might be too low. Like I want to keep the intercooler high, you know, so it's not closer to the ground. Um, so now I think I'm gonna have to cut the radiator support a little bit and then give a little extra clearance to move the top of the intercooler in, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Another tip, which if you don't know, and I mean, I, I didn't have to worry about it. My car, I have a Treadstone intercooler on it, but on here, it's just a cheaper made in China type one. Apparently the fins for the intercooler are very thin. And if you just press on them a little bit, they start like to bend. So I just taped some uh, thick paper, cardboard, whatever you want to call it. Protect the fins because uh, yeah, I was squishing them with my fingers, like barely touching them. So now I'm gonna take this all apart and I'm gonna have to cut that rad support and move it back like half inch, just where the intercooler sits. I have lots of room there, it's not a big deal. I just didn't think I'd have to do it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. All right, what I ended up doing is cutting part of the radiator support, which is like this piece right here. I'll take you in here so you can see. If you can see where the intercooler sits I mean you can see where it's ground down here so I basically took not very much like maybe half an inch out of there and as you can see the intercooler fits into the grill area fine the bumper is on and the grill is on all the way and that's how much of the intercooler is gonna hang below the bumper and then basically the spoiler if you can imagine this is the stock the stock spoiler here you know it covers like quite a bit but my plan is to have it open where the intercooler is you know I'll kind of have it go like this and it'll take a little bend in here sorry here and then I'm gonna put like a little bit of a lip on the very bottom to keep it all stiff 
so then it'll actually get lots of cold air it's open like under here I cut the bumper all out so it's open here so the air will be able to go in there so uh, yeah that should be good but uh, I'll pull it all apart I'll take the grill and the bumper off because I gotta now start making the uh, mount for the intercooler so I'll show you where I cut it and all that kind of stuff once I take it all apart all right, I have the intercooler mounted now. I got the top mounted, but I haven't done the bottom part yet, so I have to do that still, but this is kind of where I'm at right now. You can see I made this tube here, and then I welded some little tabs on there to bolt there, and then I welded some tabs on the end, and I welded that right to the body. So basically that's gonna be like on there, on the rad support. And then I had to cut down for the hood hood latch so then I just welded a little tab on there to bolt that to so uh, the next thing I got to do now is uh, I'll have to do the bottom to figure out how to make something for the bottom to hold it tight it'll probably just also go to the bottom of the rad support just some uh, some flat stock probably drilled and tapped or just drilled and then bolted on so it's the next day now and I'm back out here again uh, getting some more work done yesterday we left off the top part of the intercooler was done and now I have to mount the bottom. What I'm going to do there is um, I'm just going to do it simple. I'm going to take some of this flat bar like this. I'm just going to bend it, drill a couple holes, bolt it to the bottom of the intercooler and then I will bolt, bolt it to the bottom of the rad support because I need to be able to remove the lower one because the upper one I welded on so basically it's on there for good. So if uh, if I need to get the intercooler off, I'm definitely not gonna be able to do it otherwise. So I was gonna make kind of a similar one to that with the bar and everything, but then I thought, ah, it'll be too hard to get off. So I'm just gonna do it like this. So I'm just gonna make one cut and some bends and then uh, drill a couple holes and that should be good to go. I did a couple measurements and I made up some brackets and this is what I've come up with. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. I guess I could have videoed it, but I mean, you gotta take some measurements of course, right? Take your flat piece, put it in the vise, unless you got a break. You know, put it in there, tighten it up, and uh, flatten it and bang it with the hammer until you get the shape you want. Drill a couple holes, and uh, that's good to go. So that's gonna bolt to here. Basically, just bolt to there. And then uh, up top, it's kind of hard to see, but it'll just, I'll drill a hole in the rad support and it'll bolt to there and uh, that's it. So yeah, pretty simple. So I'm gonna bolt these up and then I'm gonna start on the intercooler piping. So stay tuned. Now it's all bolted on. So bolted down there and then bolted up to the top. Makes it nice and sturdy. It's in there good. So what I did up on top, it's a two layer of steel there. So I drilled both through both layers, but the second layer I uh, drilled it bigger so that a nut would fit or bolt would fit down in there. And I just put a little slot in it so I could put a flat screwdriver wherever I had to to uh, loosen them off. So this way it won't touch the radiator when I put it in. I'm trying to get the uh, intercooler piping going. Now I kind of already made a mistake. I kind of tried to fit it I'll show you here. I cut a hole here and then I cut a little bit of this out because I wanted it to kind of sit like up in there. But I didn't really take into account that the turn signal lenses, I'll go over there and show you. The turn signal lenses on the bumper, they stick out a ton. Now I can cut them, cut the plastic and then just like glue it back together and kind of narrow them. So that's not really a problem. But now I kind of switch gears and I'm trying to see if I can uh, move it back a tiny bit so I had a piece of this inner structure still here so now I cut it out and I'm actually able to move it back and right there I have it pretty good I'm also trying to keep the pipe from like sticking out past the intercooler because I don't want them to stick out past the bumper obviously but I'm pretty close there I think if I just make a little bit of an angle cut on this one I gotta cut this off anyways it'll fit and then I'm gonna weld this up I'm not gonna have a uh, silicone there's just gonna be a silicone at the turbo there and a silicone there. And then here's a joint, so I'll ha that'll have to get welded too. I don't really wanna have many silicones because they like to blow off and I don't wanna deal with that. So I'm gonna take this apart. I'm gonna cut this 
and hopefully this will join up together and as long as this joins up together I'm gonna call it good where I cut this hole I can always weld a piece back in there add a little bit of more metal here or whatever it's not a huge deal but uh, that's what happens if you forget about something so it's always a good idea when you're doing stuff like this to uh, you know have your bumper on or your fender on or the grill on or whatever is kind of going to be in the way or in that general area of what you're working on like this piping uh, to have that stuff on because it wasn't until I put the bumper on I almost had it fit pretty good and then I put the bumper on and I was like oh that's not going to work. I'll give that a cut and then uh, we'll see what happens. I ended up uh, kind of screwing up. I'll take you and I'll show you what I did. So I had that piece on there. I had that piece on there, the part of a U-bend, and uh, I thought I had to cut it just a little bit, but I ended up cutting it like way, way too much. So I really screwed it up. And so basically it didn't fit at all after that. So that really sucked. But then I was kind of taking a look at it and I came to the conclusion that I could use the other 90 degree bend and basically it fits right together. Here's the one bend going in and then there's the other bend and you can see how they join together right now I have the coupler there I don't know I might use them flare the tubing and then use the couplers because maybe it would make it easier to put together and take apart I don't know I'm not a huge fan of them because I know they like to blow off but I guess if it's on there good it shouldn't you know it shouldn't blow off right so I don't know yet but we'll see I'll decide on that but it looks like that side's gonna be good now I also figured something else out in regards to that bumper and I'll show you that too right now I'll just grab it here so I was wondering if if I turn the turn signal lenses around if that would work so basically I took them off and I just switched them left to right and now the Instead of the bulb holder being way over here and this big bulge being over here where the tubing is, now it's on the opposite side and it basically was just a direct bolt in. So that's cool. So now I'm looking at the driver's side. I think this side's going to be kind of easier. So here I have the U-bend and it's pretty much right there. I just, I'm going to have to cut here a bit to get that tube up in there. And then basically from there, I'll have to get, I don't know, I'm not sure yet. I don't think I'll have to use a whole bend, but maybe a slight, oops, sorry, a slight bit of a bend to get it pointing, you know, this way. And my plan is I actually just, I ordered this from AliExpress, this straight on silicone, but I also ordered a 90, 90 degree silicone from them. Uh, that one was only like, eight dollars and the other one was like eighteen dollars so i wasn't sure which one i was going to need and i could have went and took the 90 off the shit horse and mike has one of those straight fittings but i figured ah whatever the, the 90 degree one is like eighteen dollars this one was like eight dollars so if i don't use one of them whatever i'll sell it or i'll save it for the next one but i think i just tried i just tried this one on and i tried some various like using bends kind of like this in there and I don't know it doesn't really sit right but I think I know on the shit horse that 90 degree one it comes down and it's basically about right here why do I keep saying basically basically I say basically a lot for some reason but basically I don't know why but anyways so that's kind of what I'm looking at I have straight pieces and 45s and plus I have a couple bends too so I mean I can weld up stuff if I have to. I'm gonna cut this, get that uh, tubing up there, and then uh, see what the next next piece of tubing will be. I got the uh, driver side now kind of mocked up. So what I ended up doing is uh, I ended up using one of those halves of that U-bend that I cut for the other side that I didn't end up using. And uh, basically I put it uh, put it right here. It goes right there where that blue coupler is and then into this 45 and then into the straight and then to here so I'm gonna wait till I get that 90 degree silicone that I ordered 
I won't use this one. I won't use this one. I'll use the 90, which will cut this tube down to about here and lower it in a little bit. And then I think this joint here I'm going to weld together, but I'll probably leave that one down there with the silicone and the same thing on the other side as I showed you before where there's a silicone down there. I think I'm probably going to leave those both. I don't think they'll blow off and it'll make it easier if I ever have to take it apart to have them there, but we'll see. I might change my mind and, uh, and end up welding it all so that there's just one coupler on each end. So here's how it looks. So I think that looks pretty good. I mean, like I said, the piping in most of the intercooler is gonna be covered with the spoiler, except for the opening of the intercooler. That's gonna be open still, is my plan. At the, I mean, I kinda of have to because otherwise no air would get in there. I think that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Of course, it looks weird because this tube is just sticking out here, but I think that looks all right. I'm gonna call this video an end. Thanks for uh, checking it out and watching what I'm doing. I'm glad that you guys are interested in this kind of stuff. I really like doing it and we really have lots of fun when we build these cars. Um, I can't wait to get working on the old Sonic Stang when Mike's ready and getting the shit horse back together. That should be awesome. So uh, like always, like, comment, subscribe, check out the other videos um, and I'll check you later.